Hey guys, how's it going? Just really wanted to make a video um, this weekend. I, I, um, I watched a movie, which um, look, I'm not gonna hide the fact, but uh, I'm, I'm actually proud to say this. It actually made me cry. It's one of the saddest and most heartfelt movies I have ever watched in my whole entire life. I, I cannot stop thinking about about. It's a true story. And I can't stop thinking about Lee, the character. Um, the movie's called Mao's Last Dancer. It's about this boy in China. His name's Lee. He comes from a family of seven. He's, and I think he's the youngest or the second youngest. And um, you know, his family are peasants and they live in the rural, the rural areas of China. And um, communism, starving. No one speaks English. No, you know, no TV. Just like they're just living day to day, and it's really sad. Well, anyway, he gets his opportunity to go to Beijing to um, become a ballerina, and for some reason, I think the communists were using ballerinas as some type of weapon or something. I don't know, but like. Um, yeah, anyway, so he becomes, like, quite good at dancing, and then, like, you know, he gets traded off, and he goes to America. So he start, starts dancing there, and, you know, Lee makes lots of really good friends, and, you know, he loves to dance, and then, you know, he wants to defect, you know, and become American or whatever. Anyway, he gets married, and, you know, he can never go back and see his family again, and he's really sad, and his family's, like, being tortured back in China because, you know, his son's disloyal, and rah, 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 rah. It's, yeah, it's a really, really, really sad movie. But, like, watching the movie, like, I couldn't help but draw parallels between this other equally great movie. I've seen. It's a classic. Like I'm pretty sure all of you would have heard of it. I've actually got it right here. Like from watching Mao's Last Dancer, and like you just you can just see it straight away. Um, it's called it's called Rush Hour Two. Um, there's a character called Lee. Just like Lee, in this movie, he couldn't speak English when he first came. He was from China. He was just here doing the bidding of his country, and you know. He really liked America just like this dude did. And yeah. And then like, you know. Please, these people love me, man. Come on out here. Get off the stage. Are you crazy, man? I'm a star. I'm a god to these people. Come check this out. All he wanted was some motion.